You know, first on the government issue, it's very normal and the only solution is to form a government. How can you run a country without a government? You know, we, ha we are a parliamentarian regime and when the government, uh, the, the prime minister decided to resign, it's only normal to follow the constitutional process and form a government. Willing but it's that, a government willing, no one believes let, in. Let, let, me tell me, let me tell you something. This government will prove either credible or no by its actions. First, it has to get the confidence of the parliament as per our constitution, then the confidence of the people of Lebanon, then the confidence of the international community who is willing to help the government and Lebanon if they prove to be credible. That's so totally this is fair. But what I would say to you, and in my reporting, and the folks that I speak to, not just here at the World Economic Forum, but elsewhere, back in the Gulf, for example, you get a lot of money and contributions from people in the Gulf. You get a lot of help from the U.S. government and European governments as well. I've asked uh, the Saudis, the Qataris, and generally the message seems to be off record that they're not going to back a government that is backed by Hezbollah. So what needs to be the solution there? Because what you're proposing is not going to work. And there are hundreds, thousands of people who are very, very angry about that. You know what, what I think is that we are here because of wrong policies adopted since 30 years. Fiscal, monetary, economic policies in the country since 30 years. This is accumulation that made us reach this, uh, this level. So the responsibility of Lebanon, of the Lebanese, of the Lebanese government is to take the challenge themselves and hold the responsibility of changing and reforming the system. Aren't you then, responsible? Then, Because you've then, been part of that government for quite then, a while. Then they can ask for the help from the international community. So there is the responsibility first. We, as part of the government since 10 years, this has been ongoing with the constitution since 30 years. We were not part of this, rather we were in exile during the Syrian occupation and with all the political class that cooperated with Are the Syrians. Are you taking responsibility no, no, for the fact that this being is part, a very bad you know, situation? Being part of the government, we definitely take and responsibility. And it's not just you. No, no, I, me, don't, I want to make that let clear. Me, let me continue my, my answer. Because you asked something, let me give you the answer. We, being part of the government, we, definitely we have to take some responsibility. But in Lebanon, the governance that we have, the, what we call the, con, the consensual uh, democracy makes that we need uh, a kind of consensus on all decisions. We are the biggest party, but we don't have the majority. So everybody is somehow responsible. We are responsible of not being able in the past government and before to reach what we wanted in reforms. We started, a lot has to be done. You know, many are fighting this. Many, many politicians don't want the reform don't want to fight corruption, they are part of it. And this is an ongoing fight. What is happening now in the streets is very positive because it's creating dynamics to create that change. Hi, I'm Giovanna Bersacci and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.